We're talking about some of the issues um, involving older uh, people and their homes and why this sort of thing is so important for them as well. Oh, it, it's a critical issue because so many of um, our elderly population, and I'm getting there myself, we would like to be able to retire in our homes instead of going to a nursing home. But unfortunately, um, the homes aren't necessarily conducive to uh, good indoor air quality and a good quality of life if they might have been neglected over the years. Um, many times, particularly when the elderly are thinking of renovating their home to make it more friendly for the usage of the bathrooms and the kitchens with the rails and the heights of counters. A contractor might go in and start ripping things out and find that there's been a historical water damage that was not appropriately addressed at the time. Maybe someone didn't know. And I have one home where they ripped out everything only to find that there was probably 50 square feet of black mold behind the bathtub and there without having control measures to protect the rest of the house when that was ripped out there were mold spores going everywhere uh, there could have been some indicators if they had had the home checked before doing the work there were indicators there that would have pointed to the fact that there was probably historical damage it with a trained eye we often can see in this case I could look up from the underside uh, see the underside of the subfloor in the bathroom and see that there had been historical water damage. And it, that would have prompted me to, to advise them to have a mold remediation company uh, do the tear out as opposed to just having a contractor do it. Uh, those issues are particularly important. Also, many times in the older homes we're finding, uh, if they were built before 1978, that they're still lead lead-based paint or asbestos in the home that must be handled correctly to prevent having indoor air quality problems. A lot of concerns that really people just don't think about in their everyday no, lives. No, they, they don't. And it, that is, a, is even an issue with selling the home. Uh, some elderly people decide they'd like to sell the home and, and downsize. And some of these things that uh, might be a consequence of um, just lack of maintenance um, or not not having the means to to maintain the home as they got older would be identified by a home inspector. So what I'm finding are elderly, uh, the families would put the house on the market, a home inspector would come in after an offer was put in, and then he would identify signs of water damage, mold, um, perhaps asbestos, and now the house is labeled a mold house. And can't be sold. Yeah, and that well, that could be prevented before selling the house. I think we need to reverse how we handle the inspections. A good inspection by a, a qualified company that understands the hazards before the house is put on the market can save a lot of money. Sometimes, many times, the fixes are very easy. And if there's just a little bit of mold around a shower, and it might cost a couple hundred dollars to have the a little section of drywall we place, you'd certain, certainly much rather do that than put the house on the market, have a home inspector label it as a moldy home, and then be forced to negotiate the price much lower because it's now a mold house. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I know I've, I've uh, seen a lot of the uh, homes that were, um, I guess, sold uh, on the government uh, website that were labeled, uh, you know, black mold or something like that. So, of course, they were sold at almost bargain basement prices. Yeah. And you had to go in, though, and, you know, have all of that taken care of before you could move in. Right, and sometimes it is a small problem, sometimes it's a big problem. I, um, that's why I recommend before any major renovations that uh, particularly the elderly have the home inspected and have a, a game plan with uh, the major priorities, the major concerns prioritized and addressed before anyone comes in and starts ripping uh, drywall or plaster out of the home. Okay. And where can people go to find those um, home inspectors, people who are reputable? Well, what they really would would need in this case would um, not be so much a home inspector, but a qualified indoor environmental professional that understands all of the hazards, not just the construction 
issues, but the hazards associated with the lead and asbestos. And um, our company certainly is one that does that. Um, there is also a good website, um, iaqa.org, that uh, lists um, certified indoor environmental professionals by state. Yeah, and you certainly would want somebody who was certified because you don't want somebody who's going to give you, give you misinformation with an eye towards selling you products that you don't need or services that you don't really need. Exactly. Someone that is, is uh, giving an independent objective opinion as to what needs to be done. Um, they might be able to help you find the appropriate contractors, but it is advisable to have an independent third party do that inspection. All right. Very well. Thank you so much, Connie. I appreciate a lot of good information here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.